Greetings and salutations, YouTube. I just got inside of the car, and uh, sorry, like the overhead or the lighting is horrible right now. But just got inside of the car. I, <laughs> I totally forgot to donate these to the Goodwill, but I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because you get a coupon on Wednesdays when you donate to the Goodwill. So I'm just gonna hold off on donating until tomorrow so I can get a coupon, which I think is always good. So if you guys, um. You guys can go to your Goodwills and see if they do give out coupons when you give donations on certain days. Because I know, um, like the ones, like the, uh, the one in my county or region of Goodwills, um, they do give coupons on Wednesdays. So I think it's 15% off your total purchase, which I don't think is too bad. So, um, uh, but right now, it's a little bit late, okay? It's like 9.13. Uh, I was supposed to go to, uh, the Veterans Thrift this morning, but unfortunately, I had, uh, some stuff I had to get done. So, better late than ever, right? So, let's sit out, see what they have. Um, hopefully you can find some treasures, and then I don't know if we're gonna go to the Goodwill, um, but I have, like, a bunch of stuff that I want to get down to the house still, too, so, um, uh, we'll see. Alright, you guys, we just got here. Let's go inside and check it out. It's, like, 9.30, so they've already been out open for an hour and a half. Alright, you guys, so we are in the handbags, and it looks like there's kind of a lot to choose from, because I think they just brought out a lot of new bags. Check out this B. Mikowski. Let's see. This one is $14. But I believe it's 25% off. I'm just gonna like grab everything and then decide later on because sometimes you can't just wait on things. This is really stuck. Okay, there it goes. Let's just go through all these bags, see what we can find. Style. Oh, look at this little Kate Spade. Oh, this is $50 though, yikes. Okay, maybe not the Kate Spade, that's $50. It's cute though, but pricey. Nine West, Fox Girls. Oh, there's this Juicy Couture bag in a purple color. I wonder how much this is. This one is $14.96. Oh, what's this? I don't know. I thought it was an Oriani at first, but it's not. Um, oh, this bag's been here for a little bit. What is this? Stone Mountain. This kind of looks like a fossil, but it's not. This one's a B. Mikowski, but this one's $30. This one's a Michael Kors. Say 74. All right, you guys, let me show you guys what I have found. There's this C by Chloe bag that looks very much like a vintage, like a regular Chloe. There's this vintage Betsy Johnson, which is nice, but it's 25 and it's pretty dirty, but I like it. I don't know, maybe I'll wait till it goes on sale. I'm just gonna leave it, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's actually super duper cute. Um, there's also this Mark by Mark, but this one is a hundred dollars and I'm waiting for that to go on sale as well um, There's also this Mark by Mark Clutch, but this one is thirty dollars But this one's 25% off so this I might get Then there is this B. Mikowski. This one's been here forever um, but this one is at 50, but I believe this is 75% off, so I might get that. Then there is this Mark, or Michael Kors. Um, this one is 25% off, but it's 25. It's missing the dongle. So, I don't know. You know what happens when, you, when it doesn't have a little dongle thing, you probably don't want to get it. <laughs> but, um, there's this B. Mikowski also. 
Um, it's kind of cool, but it has stains on it, and this is this kind of leather is a little bit more difficult to clean, and it's fourteen ninety six. Then there's this. I wanted to show this to you guys, even though I'm probably not gonna get it. It's sixty dollars, but it's a fake Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull MM. And then this one is finally on sale. Ooh. And this one is the Michael Kors. This is the one actually my mom has. This one's sixty dollars, but it's gonna be twenty five percent off. I think I might get it. Uh, but yeah, we'll decide. Let's go look around the rest of the store. All right, you guys, I just found this little sports sack duffel bag. I'm in the, um, where am I? <laughs> Luggage section. It's $10, but I think it's, it's going to be 25% off. All right, you guys, looking through the vases and stuff. Not really spotting anything too exciting, though. Oh, there's the haunted painting. <laughs> I forgot to take the lens cap off again. But check out these Gucci wedges. Do you guys think these are real? They look they look like they might be. I don't know, they're a hundred though. And I have no clue what size they are. What do you guys think? What's the verdict? Alright you guys, so I just found two McQ by McQueen shirts. So there's that McHugh on it, this one has a Q with a clown. They're both 30 bucks, but they're both like kind of nice. What do you guys think? Alright you guys, I got a pretty good haul. I'm super excited to show you guys what I ended up getting. Hey guys, okay, so now I am back home and I wanted to share with you guys what I ended up getting today from the Veterans Thrift because I got some pretty cool stuff. So the first thing I have to share with you guys is I got this really cute clutch and then this is a i think it's a banana republic yeah it's a banana republic clutch um when i first saw it i was like this kind of looks like a dooney and burke and it's really really nice this is a nice like croc embossed pink leather silver hardware it's just like a really really cute clutch it's in really fantastic condition and yeah it's just like really really nice overall um yep cow leather beautiful and yeah, it's just like a perfect little clutch. You can also use this as a wallet if you wanted. It holds a lot. And it was $6.98, but I believe it was half off. So it was probably like $3.50. Is that? Put that on over there. Then the next thing I got, um, I did get this little coach wallet. I thought it was really, really nice. It's a men's like a little wallet. And it has card slots, it has one, two, and then three, four. But this this one right here is like a little bit of a larger um, pocket. So you can put multiple cards in there or cash. If you just fold it. And then on the back, there's also one pocket right there. And this guy was $4. And then I got a couple shirts as well. Um, I got this really nice. Like, I like the details on it. It's a John Barbados t-shirt. It has some cool, like, I don't know, like a ribbing or something along, like, the front and the sides and the back and stuff. So I just thought this was a pretty cool shirt. So there's that. And then I did end up getting those two Alexander McQueen shirts as well, even though they were a little pricey, but um, they were pretty nice. So I got this one. It says the McHugh on it. And then the other one I think is my most favorite one because it has like the little clown. It reminds me of the movie It and kind of like American Horror Story. Um, is, was it Carnival? I forgot what, like, what the name of the season was. But um, both shirts are just really nice and I am super duper excited to have found two Alexander McQueen shirts. Even though they were a little, a little bit pricey but they're both actually in fantastic condition. So I was very excited about that. Then, I got two more bags. Um, I did end up getting this C by Chloe bag. I just thought it was really, really cute. And I like that, like, it kind of has, like, a patent look, but I don't think it's, like, a patent. Like, it's not exactly a patent, but I don't know. I don't know, like, what kind of treatment it is. 
but it's not like a true patent feel. And it's a combination with like the regular leather and kind of like a grayish putty color. Silver hardware and then like it's like silver and gold. Like it's all like everything's kind of like cool looking. I really like it. So there's that. Yeah, I really like this. Such a cute bag, right? So there's that. That one was $25. It was $100 and it was 75% off. And then the last thing I have to share with you guys is this bag. Okay, I, I, I was so happy that it was still there. Um, I think I told you guys that mom actually owns this same exact bag. She actually paid full price for it at the Michael Kors store. And she's going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I paid for it full price. But yeah, so, so happy. It's like a double zip kind of tote bag and it does have a crossbody as well and it's just really really nice it just feels amazing the weight is substantial I love the hardware on the front and everything about it is just really really cute really really great and such a beautiful bag there is a little bit of like darkening on the bottom corner but hopefully I can clean that right up and it's gonna look fantastic so that pretty much rounds out today's haul um, i'm not too sure if i'm going to go to the goodwill anymore today because i just have a bunch of stuff that i want to get done with the house but with that being said let's put this away um i think i'm going to list these items really quick so that way they'll be in the shop already for anyone that uh, would like them if um you guys watch this video tomorrow or today when you guys see this um uh, but yeah so i actually wanted to go over here to this space right here i want to fix it up and make it look good um I'm really, really excited about it. Oh, sorry, you can see like the toilet, like that's awkward. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna change this up a little bit. I think she's gonna stay, but I think this plant's gonna go. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna show mom this bag. Whoa. Mom, does this bag look familiar? That's mine. That's my bag. I have that bag. I told you guys. I got it at the third. My God. Can you believe what? it? That's even wise. <laughs> It's the same exact one. It is. Oh my god. One of you guys can twin with mom. What? She's... I have this. I think I only use it twice, three times. Because it's so white. It's my bag. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making potatoes for my French fries. You're making potatoes? Oh, <gasps> French fries? For the. Okay, so you slice them up. The you put some fryer. pepper and salt, and we're gonna put these in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? Do you, want Do you want it to taste like the peri peri chicken? Yeah. I to put, I, but the kids might not. Oh, yeah, the kids want to like it. Right. It's okay, just make Maybe. it normal. Just make it normal. Yeah. So that way we can gauge how delicious it is. Also. Ooh, and a little bit of olive oil. How fancy. Yeah. I need some oil. Show you what it's. Are you going to put that corn? What's that sweet corn stuff right there? I'm going to cook that. Oh, that's for something else. <laughs> for side. I was like, are you going to put it on? No. Ooh, okay. Okay. So you got our potatoes right there that we're going no, to make into no, french fries. We can make it already. Okay. Oh my gosh, look what happened to the curtain. You just tied up. I didn't even notice when I walked by. Here's the chicken that we are going to be putting into the air fryer. It looks so delicious. And then we're going to be grilling that chicken. And then we have the french fries that we want to try in the air fryer. And then we're making these potatoes again that we made last time. And that's, again, just cut them in half, salt yeah. and pepper, and then that was it. It's Zach's thing. And that's, like, literally Zach, like, loves those potatoes so much. All right, we're going to do the peri-peri chicken first. And these are whole chickens that mom just butterflied. And we're going to see how this works out because we're going to we want to see how good this air fryer does with a whole chicken. So... We're sticking the whole chicken in there, and we're thinking, you think it's going to be like an hour? Um, Maybe? We'll see. We, we'll see. we don't know how long it's going to take, so we'll we're going to try 30 minutes first. Oh, At how, how hot? 
chicken. This is 400. Right? 400. So we're going to do 400. And we're going to do each side for 30, 30 minutes. minutes. But we're going to check periodically just to make sure. So it's all set. It's going to be at 400 for 30 minutes. And we're just going to keep checking it um, to check or to see how it's doing. And we're going to do two of these chickens. And we are going to be doing a recipe and cooking video for this very soon, but this is kind of just like a trial right now because mom already made it before I could film. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, we've done it in the oven. We, we, yeah, we've done this already in the oven. It's delicious, but we just want to try it in the air fryer and see how it tastes. And I'm hoping that it tastes delicious. Actually, I know it's going to be delicious. I just hope that the air fryer works well. Look at mom's living the life over there. <laughs> <laughs> also, I wanted to show you guys this. How do you guys think it looks? I, I like it. I feel like it's really cool. It's fun. Um, I'll probably change it up again really soon. But I really like the painting. And I know that it's like weird because it's off center. But the only reason that I have it like right there is because I want it to be centered over the console, which I think is more important than centering it on the wall. Plus I can't center the console on the wall because the door is like right there. So this is kind of just like how it's gonna have to live. I don't mind it. I actually like it, but I don't know. We'll see. I like it. What do you guys think? I love it. Plus, I love the books. I got like all of these like cool thrifted books that I got. This one's a cool like Louis Vuitton one. I got a Gucci one, some pottery or William Sonoma and other cookbooks and stuff. So that's kind of how it is right now. I need to fix these. Kind of look a hot mess. Mom's grilling the chicken. Yum. And are we taking a look inside here? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That looks so good. And it's only been 15 minutes? Okay. Wow. I think, I don't know. What time yeah, I think it's only been oh, yeah, yeah, 15. 15 minutes. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, a little look. The chicken it looks amazing. Mm. I almost forgot to vlog these because they're almost gone. <laughs> but the potatoes are still good. The fries are still in the air fryer. And then over here are the delicious chicken. Delicious. Yum. And my little munch pack kids. Yum. Okay, so here's my food. Mmm, I also made corn, which looks so good. I'm so excited. And the chicken is cooked beautifully. It's amazing. Okay, you guys. The fries don't look like mm, the best, but they're delicious and taste the best. I think I needed to, like, flip them a little bit more or something, but they're so good. Hey, guys. Okay, so I am in my room now, and I need another haircut. <laughs> but um, today was a awesome day. Um, got a lot of stuff done, right? I got a lot of work done this morning, which you guys didn't see because it was probably it was really boring anyway. And then um, we went to Savers, which turned out to be a treasure trove of stuff. Um, and then the haul, and then I was able to clean up the house a little bit. Um, I kind of I redid. Did I show you guys? I showed you guys the foyer, like the entrance. Um, with the painting and all that stuff. Um, so I redid that and oh, I kind of really like it. I like it. Um, what else? Um, even though in the future I would love like a really cool mirror right there, but I think for like right now, I feel like it's achieved like I, I it's achieving what I really like. and that's like I really wanted something larger there because I wanted to like, I wanted something to kind of draw your eyes kind of up and I think the height and like the size of the painting does the job um, and I just love that print that print is so fabulous uh, I would love it as like a wallpaper can you imagine that as a wallpaper and I feel like I've seen wallpapers that look very similar to that and like I think it would be really cool inside the bathroom like the the downstairs powder room I think it would look fantastic and I don't know one day like I just want to do something to that bathroom. Like, I definitely want to do something with wallpaper. We've never done anything with wallpaper in any of the houses that we've lived in. Um, except for, like, do you remember, like, that kind of, like, weird wallpaper band that, like, goes on top? It's almost like a crown molding, but it's just, like, a wallpaper. Like, I remember, um, back when we used to live in New York, when, 
um, we lived in like a little apartment and then um, we fought, we actually like moved into a, like a little house and I remember I was so excited because it had two floors and that was like so cool to me. I was like a little kid. I was like in kindergarten, I think. No, first kindergarten, first grade. And I remember um, in our bathroom, it had like the wallpaper had like, it had like a border like around the top of the bathroom and it was so red. We had like little ducks. Like, I remember those, like, little ducks. It's just, like, a bunch of, like, little ducks. It was very similar to, like, the duck wallpaper. Do you guys remember Full House and how, um, the, like, whose, ro whose room was it? Like, was it, like, Uncle Jesse's room that used to have, like, the ducks or something? I don't know. I remember it was, like, a, something with a wallpaper duck and they put it in a frame so you could always remember it. Um, it was, like, very similar to that, but it was just, like, a row. Anyway, so, I don't even know. Oh, yeah, the painting. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like it. I surprised like mom and dad with it and then I, I thought that was kind of fun. Mom was like, whoa. She was just like, that thing's huge. Uh, but I'm really glad that you guys liked it because I was like, I was like kind of like, especially because the response on Instagram was very like very 50-50. I think it ended up being like around like 57% said yes. And I was like, ooh. But, like, I really liked it. So, like, I mean, as long as I like it and as long as everyone else in the house likes it, I think that's all that really matters. So, um, but, of course, you guys' opinion always matters to me a little bit, too, right? Because you guys are the Thrift Squad family. So, um, I always want to get your opinion as well. So, um, I'm glad a lot of you guys liked it. And I, I'm glad I was able to sway a couple of you guys. Because a couple of you guys messaged me and or commented on the video and we're like, ooh, at first, like, you, it wasn't your favorite and then when it was up, like, you kind of saw my vision. So I'm really happy and I like that the painting is really moody and I think that's great for fall and winter and for, like, Halloween and stuff. So, I don't know. I think it's fun. Um, okay, so let's do some questions and comments and all that. And here I have Nydia Allen and she says, Hi, Hadrian. OMG, you reminded me of my fave store when I was younger, the Discovery Store. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Discovery Store. I, every time we went to the mall, I always went to the Discovery Store. And I would always play with the rain sticks. And I would always look at the love lamps. And I'd always look at all, like, the little, like... <gasps> Do you remember those, um... They were keychains. And they were, like, in the shape of an egg. And then you press a little button, the thing pops up. And then inside, like, would be, like, some sort of, like, animatronic type of thing. And it would, like, move. Like, I had the Triceratops one. And it would, like, move around or something. And then I, uh... I had another one, but I only remember, like, I remember the Triceratops one, like, the most. Like, the dinosaur one. That was, like, my favorite one. But I remember I had two, but I forgot what the other one was. But I think I ended up giving it to my sister. Anyway. That store was amazing. It was epic. I wish they still had it. It was such a fun store. And I remember exactly where it was in the mall that we used to go to. And, uh, So cool. I love that store so much. I wish it was still there. Um. Oh, yeah, so... Um, I scored today at the Westminster Goodwill. I bought two orange Disneyland Resort Cars hoodies, brand new for $7.99, with Disneyland tags for $59.99. One for me and one for the hubs. That is so awesome. Congratulations. I love scoring brand new stuff at the Goodwill. Like, it's, especially when there's still tags. Like, there's just, like, 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 you're already getting a great deal when you go to the thrift stores, but then to see that it still has tags brand new, it's just, like, another level of, like, excitement, you know? So, I always really like that. I think that's really fun. So, congratulations on that. That's awesome. And then, um... Oh, Mitchie 826 I'm so glad that you got the painting. When I saw the poll on IG, I voted yes. I could not believe so many people had voted no. I know, right? Like, I thought it was a for sure thing with, um, with everyone saying yes. But, you know, everyone has their own different taste and... A lot of people that saw it said no. Oh, here. Okay, see so here we have Miss Philly. Hi, Miss Philly. If you guys don't watch Miss Philly, she is another thrifter. She's awesome. She's over in Canada. You guys have to check her out. Miss Philly. Um, she says, first, I was like, hmm, I don't like the picture there. But when you changed the angle at 11.34, I was like, oh, it does look nice. LOL. I shouldn't question the hashtag thrift king. You're so sweet, Miss Philly. Uh, I'm so glad that you like it now. I, I think it looks 
awesome. Like at first, like it was definitely too low and like it was just like a little weird. And then I raised it and then once um, I got like the decor and stuff on there, I think it looks so much better and I'm very, very happy. Um, I don't think the decor underneath it is going to stay that way. I'm definitely going to be changing it up. I was just kind of like playing with what I was going to put there and I think I have an idea of exactly what I want, but it's just a matter of execution and just finding the time to like find like the perfect um, placement of stuff that's going to be there. But um, I'm definitely going to be changing it for Halloween and Thanksgiving anyway, so I'm kind of just like, eh, just going to leave it as is and then just switch it up in a, like a week, week and a half. Yes. Um, Lynn James says, the frame painting looks wonderful with the colors surrounding it. The mirror is beautiful. That is my style. I don't remember you getting that. <gasps> I got it a few weeks ago. It was, um, it was in a thrifting video. It was in a Goodwill Hunting, and then, um, I remember it was definitely in the Goodwill Hunting video, and then I don't think it made it into the haul because it was, like, too big, or did I end up showing? I don't remember. But I know for sure that it was in the thrifting video, for sure, like, 100%, because I was, like, having a panic attack when I saw it in the store because I thought it was so cool. Uh, okay, so let's do one more. And, hold on, we try to, like, move down a little bit because I feel like I'm, like, answering, like, a lot of the questions and stuff on the top. Um, okay. Um, oh, Lupe Torres, hi, Hadrian, good morning, YouTube Browser, Thrift Squad for Life. Um... Let's see, let's see. Okay, here's the question um, from Andrea Reyes, and she says, My problem is how the inside leather molds be removed. Do you know any cleaner that I can use with my mom's vintage coach bag inside? The molds was with the leather inside it because there's no lining in it. It's the leather itself. Please need advice. Thank you. I don't exactly know, like, if it's, like, if it's actual mold mold, like, like, fungus mold, like, bacteria, something gross growing on the bag. Clorox wipes all the way, um, and I would just, like, use that to clean the interior of it. Um, yeah, I think that's what you're asking. Definitely, like, Clorox wipes, um, because they, they'll, like, kill off any, like, bacteria or anything that's, like, bad that's inside the bag, especially if something's, like, weird and growing in there. That's what I would use, though I would be very careful because it sounds like... The interior of the bag is just the underside of the exterior leather. So, like, the top of the leather... Top, bleh, the top of the leather is just, like, the regular leather that you see. And then the underside of the leather... I can't speak anymore. I can't even say leather. And then the under... The underside of the leather is suede. So, um, some bags, they don't have, like, an inner lining. And it's just, like, the under inner portion of the leather. And so, if you use like something like wet inside the bag there's a chance that it'll uh seep through the entire piece of leather and then just go onto the exterior on the front and then that will definitely leave a mark so um my best advice is to just use the clorox wipes but use them very sparingly um like clean it off just a little bit don't let it get too wet wait for it to dry and just keep doing that over and over until the mold that is inside the bag goes away completely and that's really the best advice I can give you and then if that something like that happens with a fabric lined bag most of the time but not all the time um for like I find this is the case with like um more like like usually okay I don't not not normally actually anyway when you have a fabric lined bag um, sometimes you can actually turn the lining inside out, and then th with that, definitely, like, just wash it with, like, soap and water, and I would just, like, scrub it with, like, um, a like a, like a sponge or one of those, like, horse hair brushes with, like, the bristles and clean it that way, and then just let it dry before you put it back inside. Um, but then there are also times when the lining is, like, attached to the leather as well, like, it might not be, like, attached or, like, fused to the leather, but there's no way to turn it inside out because, like, it's, like, sewn together somehow, which happens sometimes also. And for that, I would do, like, kind of, like, the same. Or, like, um, sometimes you can just lift up a part, but if you can't do that, I would just do, like I said, with the leather that's just the suede part. Um, just use the cleaning, 
like the Clorox wipe very sparingly and just clean it a little bit at a time, just let it dry, clean it a little bit at a time, let it dry. Um, and that would be my best advice for cleaning out mold because you don't want mold in your bag, but you also don't want to damage the bag while you're trying to clean it. So just try to be very careful and you should get it, be able to get it clean. <laughs> and that is going to be the end of today's Q&A and um, thrift shout out. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. The air fryer is amazing. You guys, if you are on the fence or thinking about getting one, it is such an awesome device. Um, I don't think I told you guys this, but when we cooked the whole chicken, there, there we cooked two chickens. Um, one of them was a little bit larger than the other one. And the larger one took about 45 minutes to cook completely. And it cooked beautifully it cooked the whole way through like it was the meat was gorgeous um and it was just like so tender so delicious and it was so good and the fries turned out amazing i kind of messed up on the french fries though because i didn't have a fork outside and i was like eh. and i kind of just like jingled it a little bit and just like tried to flip them but um so they, like, they got like a little too crispy on some sides but if i had like a proper spatula or something i would have been able to flip them properly and it would have been but they tasted delicious still. And they were crispy and delicious and crunchy and it was definitely delicious. Um, I have seen reviews for like other air fryers when they cook french fries that they're still soggy. Um, I think it's just a matter of kind of leaving them in uh, like for a little bit longer. And um, the french fries are a little bit more difficult to cook than when we just cut like the, the fingerling potatoes or like the smaller potatoes like in half. Um, those were, like, really easy to just, like, cook up and, like, we just had to, like, like, move them around and flip them just a little bit. Whereas the potato, as the french fries, um, when you, when there are, like, more, when there's more than one layer of, like, the french fries on the bottom of the pan, it cooks a little bit less evenly. So you just have to be more careful and just, like, pay attention and just make sure that, um, you're flipping them so that that way they're just like crunchy the whole way around but they cooked all the way through they are delicious and yeah I don't know I'm like a walking commercial right now for the air fryer I promise like I'm not sponsored or like anything by them um, they they actually just sent it to me and asked me if I could do a review like an honest review and I was like okay yeah totally because I was just like really excited about it but I just really love their product so I'm just gonna keep talking about it especially because mom loves it so much and just using it with mom it's like such a joy it's so much fun and it's so so easy and clean up this breeze. I don't know if I told you that either. So um, that's the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. And then the new video goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Bye. Oh my gosh. The blue and white Bombay piece is gorgeous. It is missing the top though. So I'm going to have to decline. But it is really nice. It goes with all my other blue and white Bombay stuff that I've collected so far. Let's see if we can find anything else though. So I do love Bombay, especially the blue and white stuff. <laughs> this is so cute with a tomato.